Hi everyone, I hope you all safe and healthy with your family and friends. In this video, we are going to learn about 11th Standard Accountancy, Chapter 10, Depreciation Accounting, Exercise Sum Number 7. Let's read the heading. From the following particulars, give journal entries for 2 years and prepare machinery account under straight line method of providing depreciation. The machinery was purchased on 1-1-2016. Price of the machine rupees 36,000, freight charges rupees 2,500, installation charges rupees 1,500, life of the machine 5 years. Okay, we have to listen here two points. What are they? What they given here and what they asked to ask to prepare. Okay, so what they given here? They have given here the purchased assets dated on 1 1 2016, that means January 1 2016. Price of the machine 36,000, freight charges, installation charges, and the life of the machine 5 years. Okay, okay, what we have to calculate? We have to pass the journal entries for the first to 2 years and prepare the machinery account. That means we have to post the ledger account for the machinery account. Okay. So First, we have to find the amount of depreciation. What is the formula for amount of depreciation? That is original value divided by estimated useful life. How can we calculate original value? They have given here purchases mach, mm, machinery was purchased price rupees 36,000. Okay. Listen, when you purchased new assets, you have to spend some money for few expenses that is freight charges, inst installation charges, erection charges, transporting charges, wages, repairs, okay, like these expenses you have to spend when you purchase a new machine, new asset, okay. So you have, you can't enter separate account for this amount, okay. You can't open the separate amount account like freight charges account, installation charges account, transporting account, wages account, okay. When you purchased new, mach per new machinery or new asset, you have to spend few expenses for so far that you have to add the expenses with the newly purchased asset. Got it? So, here we have to add the freight charges 2500 installation charges 1500 how much we get 4000 rupees okay you have to add that 4000 rupees with the price of the machine that is we got 40000 rupees so that is the original cost got it so this is the original value of the purchased machinery purchased asset the estimated useful life is 5 years okay so now we have to cancel it okay so 1 5 is 5 8 5 is a 40 right then 3 0 okay so 8000 rupees the amount of depreciation we get 8000 rupees now we are going to pass the journal entry for the first two years right for purchasing asset and depreciation of the machinery okay for the first two years when you purchased machinery when you purchased uh, asset that is january 1 2016 so dated on january 2016 what is the journal entry for the purchasing asset you have to enter the name of the asset in the journal you can't enter the purchases account okay when you purchased goods only, you have to enter the purchases account data to cash account. Here you purchased asset. So you have to enter the name of the asset. So what is the name of the asset? Missionary account is the name of the asset. So missionary account data 36,000 rupees to bank account. Listen, instead of cash account, you have to enter the bank account, the depreciation account. Got it? So what's the journal entry? You have to keep it in your mind. When you purchased machinery, when you purchased or when you purchased asset, machinery account data 36,000 to bank account 36,000. You must enter the, you must write the narration that is bought machinery. Okay. Then 
you spent some money for some expenses when you purchased asset okay what are they they are freight charges 2500 installation charges 2500 both we we have to add the both amount we will get 4000 rupees so for that 4000 rupees you have to pass the journal entry the same journal entry machinery account data to bank account 4000 rupees okay so freight charges and installation installation charges for machinery then you have to provide the depreciation at the end of the accounting year you have to provide the depreciation for the first 2 years okay so what date you have to enter here at the end of the year so the closing accounting period for the depreciation of the machinery is 31st 12 2016 that means 31st december 2016 so the first year depreciation of the machinery is depreciation account data to machinery account so we already find the the amount of depreciation 8000 rupees we have to enter here okay then you have to pass the journal entry for the closing the depreciation amount okay you have to close the depreciation amount so for that you have to pass the journal entry for the depreciation account transfer to the profit and loss account okay you have to transfer the depreciation account into the profit and loss account so for that you have to enter the same date 31st 12 2016 first year okay so what's the journal entry for the transferring depreciation account into the profit and loss account profit and loss account at or 8000 rupees to depreciation account 8000 rupees listen here where is depreciation account for providing depreciation depreciation account is on debit side okay it is to be credited here because you transfer the depreciation to the profit and loss account so from the debit you have to credit here it is to be credited so we credited the depreciation account opposite side that means debtor side you have to enter the profit and loss account debtor 8000 rupees okay so first year completed then we have to prepare you have to pass the journal entry for the second year for depreciation account okay providing depreciation so you have to enter the same date when you purchased a machinery when you purchased asset it's dated on 11 2016 you have to enter the same date for the next year okay the same date is 11 the next year is 2017 okay the second year we have to pass the journal entry for the providing depreciation okay so depreciation account data to machinery account 8000 listen here carefully we have written here 8000 rupees okay because why because we we are following the straight line method so straight when you use the straight line method whenever you use the straight line method so you have further year further uh, if they ask two years to prepare the depreciation account if they ask 5 years to prepare the depreciation account to use the uh, straight line method it is constant amount it can't change straight line method means the depreciation amount can't change okay so second year also you have to enter the same amount 8000 rupees depreciation provided and now we are going to close the depreciation account so for that the depreciation account transfer into the profit and loss account okay so you have to enter the listen here when you close the depreciation account when you closing the depreciation account when you providing the depreciation account so you have to enter the end of the year you have to en- enter here the date the date it is closing accounting period okay so that is 31 12 2016 for every year if they ask two years for the two years you have to enter the closing date of the accounting period okay so here we prepare the second year first year also we enter here the, to provide the depreciation we entered 31st 12 2016 so second year also we have to enter here 31st 12 2017 okay
okay for the next year second year okay so now we are going to transfer the depreciation account into the profit and loss account so we have to enter the same year that means end of the year 31st 12 2017 profit and loss account that are 8000 rupees to depreciation account 8000 rupees the narration is depreciation account transfer into the profit and loss account so we transferred depreciation account into the profit and loss account we closed the depreciation account okay so from let from debtor side it is to be credited okay depreciation account is to be credited do you have any doubt please comment it on the comment box thank you take care